Today on 10 Minute IT Jam, we have Chris Rogers, who is the general manager for ANZ for Mambu. So this is actually our second Mambu IT Jam. Um, while the first interview introduced us to the company, uh, today's IT Jam will go further in depth into the benefits of cloud banking. So welcome to the Jam, Chris. Thanks so much, Nick. A pleasure to be here and talk to you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> um, so to kick us off, uh, can you just give us an update on what Mambu has been doing in the ANZ region right now? Yeah, happily. Um, the, the great answer is a lot. Um, I think when you compare Mambu in the region to two years ago to today, we've achieved much and that had to happen. Um, so we've been doubling down on our presence um, here in market and in country, um, both in terms of our team and, and support. So that's been a long time coming. I'm proud to now you know, manage a team across Sydney, Melbourne and, and Perth. Um, what we've been doing locally speaks to our global initiatives last year as well. You know, we've responded to COVID and I think being a cloud-based product, we were able to adapt and pivot quickly and that ultimately helped our customers and well, our clients and their customers. So maybe we can speak a bit to that uh, during this uh, powwow. But um, most importantly, we are trying to introduce banks, non-banks, lenders, financial services providers to a new way of thinking around core. Uh, and I'd argue it's radically different, this concept of composable banking. So, Nick, we've been evangelical about our presence here in market and helping people go on both a tech and a cultural journey over the recent past. Mm, yeah. You just mentioned um, composable banking. What Could you just um, briefly go through what that is? Yeah, gladly. Um, the, the idea is it's a phrase we coined um, a while ago based on how Mambu is delivered to market. And it really speaks to an ecosystem approach to technology. So we don't pretend to be anything other than the core. We are your ledger and product factory. But because we allow you to compose what happens around that core, it gives banks a lot of freedom. So you can choose best in breed for loan origination. You can choose best in breed for customer experience. And because we are API first, and because we're cloud native, we can seamlessly plug in to all of these different partners. So it creates this symphony, if you will, if we're taking that composability a step further. And for me, it just encourages people to think differently and ultimately deliver a better customer experience. And that is now increasingly what it is all about. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, in the last kind of 12 months, there's been a lot of challenges, issues delivered to pretty much everyone um, mm -hmm. with what was going on. So in the banking and finance industry in ANZ, what particular challenges is Mambu looking to assist with? Oh, wow. Well, put Mambu aside for a second. Let's think about what the banking sector has been through over this past while. Um, obviously kicked off by the Prudential Lens with the, with the Royal Banking Commission. Um, how we as a sector responded to that has created a seismic shift in how we think about tech, um, but also how we think about everything. Um, just yesterday, Prime Minister Ardern from New Zealand obviously um, spoke to building a moat around New Zealand in terms of protecting the economy, the ballooning house prices. Banks have, as recently as this morning, responded to that with a, a look at decoupling um, their sister um, banks uh, over there. So these changes um, obviously are raising questions around, wow, how do we decouple the technology? Is there an opportunity here? So in the big bank space, we're quite excited. Um, in the neobank space, even more has changed, right? So um, we've had a, a couple of stress tests, the ultimate demise of, of one of our neobanks, a pivot from another um, who are doing really well to sort of pivot towards a different way of delivering a service. And of course, the pending acquisition of another neo by one of the big four, um, specifically the NAB looking to acquire 86400. All of this has thrown a real lens on the technology. That's part of the reason the big banks are acquiring, part of the reason there's smaller banks consolidating. So gosh, I mean, it's really exciting. And I think it plays into the technology that Mambu delivers because it is very quick to adapt and, and facilitate transformation. You know, this whole idea, Nick, of digital transformation has certainly come of age. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you've already, you just mentioned how um, yeah, big banks and small banks um, and how Mambu fits into that. But is there anything else in terms of big banks, what Mambu can specifically do to help them? 
Absolutely. Um, th there are a lot of things that we've done, and, and I'm not speaking theoretically anymore. Mambu obviously are now a, a, a big business uh, globally with more than 250 clients. Um, we're currently standing up about 6,000 products, um, whether that's loan products, transaction or deposit products. One way in which we've been really successful with the tier ones is helping them launch what we've referred to as digital speedboats. So let's not um, look at the core and reimagine it because it's such a critical piece of infrastructure. But let's help banks validate new ways of, of approaching technology and delivery by spinning off these other products that uses Mambu at the core to be in market quickly, validate that there is customer um, validity in, in those products before we look at the bigger piece. Increasingly now, though, we're doing work, Nick, with, a lot, with the tier ones um, uh, around impacting the wider core um, infrastructure they have. So again, we've come of age where we're looking at those really serious pieces of migration as much as we are looking at the, the funky digital speedboats or submarines or pirate ships to disrupt various markets. So um, there's a lot of different ways in which we're engaged and helping the banking sector in Australia and in New Zealand. Got a big question for you now. What are the biggest benefits of using cloud banking technology like Mambo? <laughs> wow. Where do I start? Um, I guess let's think about cloud and what it is, because again, that is something that was nascent and again itself has come of age. These whole cloud native software as a service deliveries have already disrupted so many sectors. Um, obviously, you think of your, your subscription models like Netflix in the entertainment vertical. You think about Uber, Airbnb, even Salesforce at a more enterprise level. Um, these are easy to comprehend how they've disrupted sectors, but they couldn't have been successful were it not for cloud, right? Because it's the only way in which something can be scalable, global loading, all of this. If Uber tried to stand up a data center based on their peak traffic, they'd have had to invest billions but Mambu deliver core infrastructure via cloud and SaaS. So that, that is radically different. Um, and I think refreshing and just as robust and secure. Um, so cloud is, is coming of age in, in the financial vertical and sector. And so the timing couldn't be better for us. If I may, just to speak about why cloud is so important, it's not just about scalability, it's about speed. So we touched on what we did and how we responded to COVID um, by helping spin out, you know, payments pauses on lending products for our clients to pass on to their customers to relieve that financial stress. But we've got an out-of-the-box product called Audit Trail, which helps our clients with their regulatory requirements. There was an Australian ADI last year that was using our Audit Trail, which effectively is an API that provides data to monitor usage of our interfaces. They needed change and they wanted improvements. And because of the DevOps structure of Mambu and because of our agility uh, and, and having a direct line of sight with customers, we were able to improve and enhance audit trail within a month for that specific Australian ADI. A month later, we introduced it globally for the benefit of our entire client base. Cloud and, and SaaS and the way that we manage one single code base enables us to just do things so much better and it's always with the customer expectations and demand in mind. So I think that's um, a really good way of approaching things. And we're seeing the banks um, become, you know, becoming aware culturally of supporting that kind of approach. I hope that answers that big question, Nick, or do you want to interrogate that further? <laughs> oh, I don't, don't know if we have the time, actually, but, <laughs> but, I'll, but I'll go to another big question um, about the future. So hopefully we can um, get a good one for that. Uh, so what's yeah. next for Mambu in Australia and New Zealand? Yeah, I think, uh, like I said at the beginning, um, we're doubling down. Um, Miles mentioned in, in your first chat that, you know, we're now at unicorn status. We've got a significant capital um, under our belt. I'm using that, or we, sorry, are using that to find the best talent in market here and, and create support across the full gamut of what a bank might expect. Solutions engineers, customer onboarding, customer success, leadership, um, partner networks. So you'll see over the coming year, Nick, that uh, Mambu will, will be announcing a lot of uh, exciting partnerships and work with banks and non-banks and uh, hopefully being more vocal about this change and this innovation as transformation is accelerated. 
All the banks are announcing doubling down on innovation. For us at Mambu, we want to commit to this market or these markets and really excel and, and dominate. Uh, we're, we're very bullish about helping people on this journey. Perfect. Very good. Um, well, that concludes today's 10-minute IT Jam with Mambu GM for ANZ, Chris Rogers. Thank you for coming on today, Chris. Thanks so much, Nick. A pleasure. Until next time.